How you doing guys? Chris at Dentless Touch. This is a quick break from the vlog videos that we've been doing. I probably have about 10 or 15 of them in queue right now already recorded. So I do appreciate you guys showing love on those videos. This video is about the PDR accessories that I've been using over the past three weeks. I've been snapshotting some of the tools that I just absolutely can't live without and I just organized them into this video and share it with you guys. If you have a tool that I did not mention and I'm pretty sure they're out there, just leave a comment below of which ones that you cannot live without and try to keep it under about $60. This is just gonna be something under about $60. Now there is a curveball in there. Uh, prior from this video, I thought it was a roughly about $60 to $70. It's a can't live without tool anyway. So hopefully you enjoy this video and don't forget to comment below. Thanks guys. First up is the Tadpole Tape Cutter. Now this is the one inch version. They do sell it in larger version. I think one, a two inch and a three inch. Just get the one inch. Now if you're new to the PDR industry, we use uh, Tessa tape. Uh, I pretty much use Tessa tape on a daily basis and this tadpole tape cutter allows me to actually tear or actually cut the tape without having to source my razor to get a clean cut um, and as you see right there and it just prevents me from going and grabbing two items meaning the tape and the razor so this thing has saved me a ton of time and I recommend it for anyone. Next up is the wedge light from Edgy Tools. Now this actually slides in between the uh, the belt moldings in the window and then you can sh shine a light so you can actually see where bracing is or where your tool may end up. Uh, I use this for pre-inspections, making sure our estimate is dead on uh, where the bracing may be in the door. I use this for r and uh, I use this for a wedge. This tool is super versatile. It has an internal battery with USB charging. I have yet to charge this thing. Most of the reviews say you can go a week, week and a half before charging. It just all depends on your use. And it also has a timer to actually will turn off the device after seven minutes if you forget to, and leave it on. So new to hit the market, but a must have. This is probably a familiar tool for many PDR technicians. This is the auto writer, and this is what we use for pre-inspections, uh, allowing us to either circle how many dents are on a panel or illustrate uh, the size of the damage. Like I said previously, I use the wedge light to see where the bracing is, and I pretty much draw that on the panel with the auto writers. Um, this allows the customer or the insurance agent to see where the the limited access is and where the bracing is. All right, so this one's a curveball. It's a lot more expensive than $60, but I think it's a must have. Um, it's called the Declaration from Evolution PDR Tools. And it just allows for massive stability and leverage in areas where you normally don't have it and so i think this is just a great tool to have i love the smaller version more so with the, the big one and this that's the one that i use most often so check them out going back to the edgy tools camp we have the hanger now they do have a version two of this this is actually one of my first tools that i purchased from edgy tools i feel like this put them on the map at least for me he is very creative with the names they do make a small version and a magnum version uh, so this is the larger one i do recommend more so than a small one it's just more versatile this is a snap on door tool now you can get any manufacturer tool i do recommend going with someone uh, that is well known uh, cornwell snap on or maco uh, something like that anyway the longer version you'll find yourself with the a pillars needing that extra reach and i overall just go for the longer version more so than the short ones the standard length uh, upholstery tool uh, and a tech tip for this is wrap the the leverage point with tape uh, i use tessa tape and it just prevents any marring from leveraging in that area this is a stucky window wedge and if you're doing any type of repairs in the door and you have your window guard and window wedge, this wedge is actually unique where it has these special grooves in there where it doesn't allow it to slide up. This is my favorite wedge by far. This is just a tire depth gauge that I use as another pre-inspection tool. I use this to measure the depth of the dent 
and I know that if a dent is past one millimeter then it most likely is stretch. This allows me to price accordingly, just allows you to know what you're getting into before you start. That's the end of the video. You guys have a great Memorial Day weekend and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.